In this video we're going to be having a look at inequalities involving a modulus sign. In particular we're going to have a look at a particular method for solving these inequalities that involves squaring both sides. So you'll be familiar by now with the fact that if you times by a negative number in an inequality you have to flip the sign. So that can be bad news for questions like this. But notice that what's on the left hand side is positive because it involves a modulus sign and what's on the right hand side is positive because it involves a modulus sign therefore if we times both sides by themselves we're times in both sides by a positive number no need to flip the inequality so let's do that let's square both sides 4x minus 3 squared is less than 2x plus 1 squared had we not have been guaranteed that both sides were positive then we couldn't possibly have squared because we wouldn't have known whether to flip the inequality sign or not. Only works when both sides are positive. Okay, so now expanding the brackets, we've got 4x minus 3. 4x minus 3 is less than 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. So that's 16x squared minus 12x minus another 12x, so minus 24x plus 9 is less than 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Taking everything over to the other side, we've got 12x squared minus 28x plus 8 is less than 0. And now for the calculator. So we put the calculator into inequality mode. It's a polynomial of degree 2, a quadratic. Okay, and it's a less than 0 quadratic, so we're going to choose option 2 here. 12 minus 28, 8. That tells us a third less than x, less than 2. So the answer, a third is less than x, which is less than 2. There's also another video with this question in it that involves a different method involving drawing the graphs of each function. So have a look at that video if you want to see an alternative method for this. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.